This is the area where that person was found, and you can still see a couple of days later where she wrote help in the road over here. That's the H you can see. That's all been washed away at this point, but right over there, that's the P. Now, this area is uh, decently far out here, not super close to town, so given that and what the weather was like during this weekend, it's impressive that she was okay. It was, it was like, wow, glad we found her. I mean... <laughs> It was, it was pretty amazing. Chris Trumbich and his stepson still can't believe it. If we didn't come up here, you know, she could have been dead. Their weekend deer hunt on this family property in northern Kootenai County took quite the turn when they spotted this in the road. It was a message left by Katie Ogle. She's 19, but has the cognitive ability of around an 11 year old, authorities said. She had walked away from home two days earlier and roughly five miles away. She wasn't wearing shoes. And as I saw, getting to where she was found is quite the trek. The area is north of Ohio Match Road, north of Hayden Lake. It was a couple of miles up this steep road and took about 15 minutes to drive. I was just thinking it's crazy she was alive through the weather the past nights. After the pair spotted the word help, they rushed to a search and rescue camp to get help. A pair of Kootenai County search and rescue members went back with them and were the ones who physically located Katie under this tree. He said hello, and then we heard hello right over the point right here and went down there and Katie was down there. Katie took a sleeping bag and some nuts from the family's cabin, but that was all right. They said they leave the cabin unlocked in case any hunters in this area become lost. The search for Katie involved several volunteers and man hours, something Trumbich and his stepson were impressed by. They're actually putting out an effort to try to find this girl. I think it was pretty cool. Katie appeared to be in good health, but was taken to the hospital as a precaution. In Kootenai County, Taylor Vido, Grim 2 News.